So Tane Pogaccia attacked with around about six and a half kilometers to go. There's our leader. Pogaccia is making short work of this mountain. He's left everybody in his wake. Look at the leg speed. Look at the metronomic effort of the way that he pedals this bike. Almeida doing what he always does, fighting his way back onto the group. Some parked cars here at the side of the road. Tane Pagaccia is underneath the red kite. Nearly five hours of racing in the mountains today. I'm looking out the commentary box to just try and spot Pagaccia. And he's not too far away. I can see the front cars. Gacha leads by 108 from Lando and Vlasov. 114 to Almeida, Bernal, Martinez, and Chris Harper. And further on down the mountain, Kiana Tobruks and Harold Tejada. As I look out of my window after four hours and 51 minutes, I can see Pagaccia as he makes his way towards the top of this mountain. There's the solo figure of the man from UAE Team Emirates that has blown apart stage two of Volta Catalunya. Tade Pagaccia is solo and making his way towards the top of this mountain at over 2,000 meters. It's been one tough day in the mountains, but Pagaccia, the Slovenian champion, is going to make this one his own. He has number one on his back for a reason, because this rider is an incredible champion. He's almost at the top. Pogaccia, this season, is incredible. He gets set to take the victory at Valter 2000. Tade Pogaccia has ridden solo. Pogaccia is victorious on Valta, the 65th win of his career here in Catalonia. The first couple of weeks of a Grand Tour, but this looks good. Mikhail Lander jumps away. Lander takes second on the stage, but he's going to lose 1 minute 23 seconds. And then then is Jao Almeida is going to take fourth. Fifth is going to be Lenny Martinez. He's at 142. Harper. Then it's Egan Bernal. Enric Mass finishes 140. Pagaccia has just exploded Volta Catalunya. Tade Pogaccia wins ahead of Mikael Lander by 1 minute 23 seconds. But the conditions have made it even harder. What's it been like? Yeah, <laughs> we started with a really nice weather. It was uh, like summer. And then uh, we saw big clouds. And we were thinking, oh, maybe, maybe we can survive until the final climb without rain. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, it started to rain already second last climb. And yeah, uh, the conditions were really tough. and. Yeah, it's really, really hard to climb and yeah, also on altitude, uh, you could feel already uh, the high altitude. So it was really tough finish, yeah, and, uh, but I'm happy to, to win. If we forget about the weather, would have this been the script that you would have chosen for this stage? Because we saw you go right at the start with Novak and then uh, with 35 to go, you also tried to stretch on the uh, downhill. Was that the story that you were expecting? <laughs> no, uh, at the start, yeah, that was a pretty fun moment with Oman. Um, but yeah, um, then in the final, uh, the downhill, I was, yeah, I was really feeling uh, comfortable on the downhill, and 
yeah, um, I just went my own pace and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing special. Okay, thank you today. We'll see you during the week.